last week and uh, last last week. So I was out there collecting some, collecting some material for tonight. And uh, speaking of which, the nature of tonight my speech will be more correlated to comedy. And by definition, comedy for me would be sim very, very much similar with um, dating, for example. Me as a host of taking the, uh, the, role, the role of men, and all of you audiences or over there, sitting over there, will be taking the role of the ladies. And it's my job to satisfy you, and while you all are just sitting there having fun. Of course, um, there were some, oh, speaking of which, you guys like you guys wonder like recently the weather is kind of crazy, right? Like there's a lot of fluctuations. Like you go from like top 25, 26 like during daytime, and um, goes all, all goes down all the way to like 12, 11 during nighttime. But I think we should we shouldn't really be surprised because speaking of craziness, there is nothing more crazy about having Donald Trump as the president of the United States. <laughs> Why? Let me demonstrate that for you. I want the walls, walls, but nothing but the walls, and that would be built by Mexicans. No one but the Mexican will pay the walls. And I also, also like McDonald's, hamburgers, and also I would like to have intimate relationship with pretty women. And almost most importantly, there will be some there will, there will also be some more walls and nothing but the walls. Why? Because I just passed a bill that cost five billion dollars USD to the budget of building the walls. Back to my character. <laughs> um, I really do think the you know he should learn from the Chinese history because as as a Chinese we all have experience of building walls, which as a result it doesn't really look really effective. And you know that was the part of he should learn from the history of the Chinese, and because building walls, obviously, it won't be effective. And eventually, centuries centuries from now, as we can tell, if the walls really been built, you'll have a scene. You'll have to see the stone being in, in carved it right next to the wall, saying Donald Trump built by Donald Trump, the idiot. <laughs> All right, uh, let's enough about. That guy over there. Let's talk more about me. It's my show. So basically, I had some experiences with the language, and when I moved into U.S., um, there were some subtle differences, like pronunciation of the words. What I learned in Taiwan, but uh, like totally different one in the U.S. For example, one thing would be the aunt, like A-U-N-T, the pronunciation of aunt. Like you know, your counterparts, your uncle. What well, was there, and but in the U.S. we pronounce on as ant, and for me that was a kind of insect. And you know, it was it was a really um, painful, or rather painful, or rather uh, com like a really comical memory for me because one day my friend came up to me and be like, "Hey, Tony." Um, I really don't know how to say this, but my aunt just passed away. My aunt just passed away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? You got tons of those out there on the ground. <laughs> and he just he just walked away and be like, I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> that was a great way to end a friendship. <laughs> But the pronunciation, like I had more materials, but for example, another one would be another really, uh, really in, like, car like creating memory for me would be, for example, we use, like we use metric system for measurements, like centimeters, kilometers, and we abbreviate into CM or KM. But in the US, we use, because they like to be delusional, and they use pounds or ounces. And the abbreviation was for pounds was in LBS. And when this happened when I walk into the store when I first like first few weeks when I was there and I walk in the store and be like uh, I want uh, one LBS of sugar. The the person or the clerk 
look at me, I'm like, what's well, stupid? You mean pounds? I was like, pounds, no, no, it's LPS, I don't see pounds in it. And in my heart, at that moment, I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm just sharing this with you. Pounds, LBS, well, that's for me, that stands for lots of bullshit. <laughs> anyway, learning English is like, it's like, you know, learning different pronunciation, like usage, but it really is a part of your daily life if you move out in the in a foreign country. But the, 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 the take home message for today would be, treasure your friend and don't say whatever is on your mind. Otherwise, you might just lose a friend. Thank you.